Hi everyone, welcome to our second video on number patterns. We're talking about arithmetic number patterns. So arithmetic means that the number pattern has a constant difference. Now arithmetic number patterns are broken up into two types of number patterns. We have linear number patterns and quadratic number patterns. Linear number patterns are patterns with a constant first difference and quadratic number patterns are, are patterns with a constant second difference. So you can see the difference in the formula. I've put them both there for you. So Tn is equal to Bn plus C for linear and Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C for quadratic. Now, you'll notice that An squared plus Bn plus C, it has um, the degree of the equation is a 2. So whether you're talking about quadratic number patterns, quadratic functions, quadratic equations, you always have the degree of 2. So that's what helps you to, sh to know that it's going to be a quadratic number pattern. All right, we're going to head straight in. In the video today, I'm going to be determining the formula or determining the nth term, showing you how to determine the nth term of a quadratic number pattern. All right, if we look at our first um, example, we've got 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Now, if we look at this number sequence straight away, we can tell that the formula or the nth term is Tn is equal to n squared. So we can tell that straight away. However, we obviously need to know a process on how to determine that nth term for when it's not just 1, 4, 9, 16. All right, so we're going to start by determining our difference. So we're going to see whether it's a constant first difference or a constant second difference. Now remember, when you are um, determining the difference, it's term 2 minus term 1, term 3 minus term 2, etc., Okay. So we say term 2 minus term 1. So 4 minus 1, which is 3. 9 minus 4, which is 5. 16 minus 9, which is 7. And 25 minus 16, which is 9. So we can see over here that we don't have a constant first difference. So now we're going to see what our second difference would be. So 5 minus 3, we do it the same way, term 2 minus term 1. So 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, and 9 minus 7 is also 2. So now we have a constant um, second difference. Now, I'll go a lot quicker in the next examples. I just want to spend a little bit of time doing it properly this first time. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the first term of each of my rows. Then I have formulas that I just need to learn. So I have 2a equals the first term of the second difference, 3a plus b, which is equal to the first term of the first difference, and then we have a plus b plus c, which is equal to the first term of the sequence. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rewrite the formulas as I see them with the with what they're equal to just to make it easier for myself to work with. All right, so I have 3a plus b equal to 3. And then I have my last uh, formula, which is a plus b plus c equal to the first term of the sequence, which is 1. Now we can notice that we have a, b, and c. So we have to solve for a to to use A to solve for B, to use B to solve for C, etc. All right, so if I have 2A equal to 2, to isolate the A, I know that I'm going to divide both of these by 2. So therefore, A is equal to 1. All right, now, this A value of 1 is what I'm now going to use in place of the A in my next equation. So now I have 3, in place of the A, I put 1 plus B, equal to 3. So now I have 3 times 1, which is 3, plus b equals 3. To isolate the b, I'm going to take the 3 across. So b is equal to the 3 will now become a negative 3. So 3 minus 3, which is 0. So now I'm not going to have a b value. All right, but now this b value, I am going to now substitute in place of the b. And I already have the a to substitute in. So a is 1 plus b, which is 0, plus c is equal to 1. All right, so 1 plus 0 is 1, plus c equals 1. So when I isolate the c, I'm going to take the 1 across, 1 minus 1, which is 0. So now the c value is also 0. So now I've determined my a, my b, and my c value. 
All right, my nth term of a quadratic number sequence is Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. So now I'm going to take the A value, put it in place of the A value. I'm going to take the B value, put it in place of the B value. And then I'm going to take the C value and put it in place of the C value as well. All right, so that means that Tn is equal to A, which is 1, N squared, plus B, which is 0, N plus C, which is also 0. All right, obviously I can clean that up. Now I would have been able to go straight to the answer, but I just wanted to show you where it comes from. Remember, we don't have to write out this coefficient of 1, so I just have N squared, 0, N plus 0. Leave out the zeros. So I have Tn is equal to n squared. All right, that's my next sequence, minus 1, 5, 15, 29, 47. All right, I'm going to go a little bit quicker through these ones now um, to get through more examples. All right, so I'm still going to determine my constant difference. So I say term 2 minus term 1, so 5 minus minus 1, which is the same as 5 plus 1, which gives me 6. 15 minus 5 which is 10, 29 minus 15, which is 14, and 47 minus 29, which is 18. All right, so you can see that we don't have a constant first difference currently. All right, so now let's move on to our second difference. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 14 minus 10 is 4, and 18 minus 14 is also 4. So now we have a constant second difference, so we know that we're working with a quadratic number sequence. All right, I'm going to circle the first term of each of my rows. So 2a is equal to the first term of the second difference. 3a plus b is equal to the first term of the first difference. And a plus b plus c is equal to the first term of the sequence. All right, so if I quickly write them out, I have 2a equal to 4. 3a plus b equal to 6. And a plus b plus c equal to negative 1. All right, so 2a equals 4. So to isolate the a, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to divide 2a by 2, and that gives me a equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now I'm going to take this a value of 2, and I'm going to put it in place of the a over here. All right, so I have 3 into 2 plus b equal to 6. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus b equals 6. So to isolate the b, I'm going to take the 6 across. It will become 6 minus 6, which again is 0. All right, so now I have the 0, and that's going to go in place of the b on that side. All right, so I have my a value, which is 2, plus my b value, which is 0, plus c equal to negative 1. 2 plus 0 is 2, plus c is equal to negative 1. So therefore, c is equal to negative 1. The 2 becomes a minus, so that's minus 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. All right, so now I have a equal to 2, b equal to 0, and c equal to negative 3. So therefore, I know that the nth term of a quadratic number pattern is a n squared plus b n plus c. So I put my a n squared, so a is 2, so 2 n squared plus b n, well b is 0, so I don't need to put it in. Remember, if I say plus n like that, then that's actually saying plus 1 n, so that's incorrect. So we're just going to leave the n out in the middle because the b is 0, and then it's plus c, but c is a negative 3, so 2 n squared minus 3. 4, 1, minus 4, minus 11, and minus 20. So I'm just going to start and get my first difference. All right, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Minus 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Minus 11 minus minus 4, which is the same as minus 11 plus 4, which is minus 7. And minus 20 minus minus 11, which is minus 9. Okay, so that's not a constant first difference. So now we're going to look for our second difference. So minus 5 minus minus 3 
is negative 2, minus 7 minus minus 5, which is negative 2, and minus 9 minus minus 7, which is negative 2. All right, so now I have a constant second difference, which means I have a quadratic. Now I'm going to circle my first term of each of my rows. So I have 2a at the bottom, 3a plus b, and then at the top, a plus b plus c. All right, so I have 2a equal to negative 2. Now we just have to be careful of that negative sign. Then we have 3a plus b equal to negative 3. And then we have a plus b plus c equal to 4. All right, so if 2a is equal to negative 2, I'm going to isolate the a by dividing both sides by 2. So therefore, a is equal to negative 2 divided by 2, which is negative 1. Now I take that a value of negative 1 and I substitute it in place of a. So it will be 3 times negative 1 plus b is equal to negative 3. 3 times negative 1, over here I'm doing this part, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus b is equal to negative 3. So therefore, b is equal to minus 3 Add the 3 when it goes across, this negative 3 becomes a positive 3, and that will give me 0. Then I take the a value of minus 1 plus the b value of 0 plus c is equal to 4. So 1 plus 0, minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 plus c is equal to 4. So now I can say, therefore, that c is equal to 4 plus 1, which is 5. So now I have my a value, I have my b value, and I have my c value. So when I write out my nth term, tn is equal to a, which is, I can either write it as minus n squared, or I could even write it as minus 1n squared, it doesn't matter, plus bn, b is 0, so I'm going to leave that out, plus c, c is 5. So now I have um, a c value. Now remember, you can determine any term value. If you want to determine, for example, the first five terms of the sequence, you would just replace the n with 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and then 5 in the formula. If you wanted to determine term 100, you would replace the n with 100, and so forth. Okay, last example that I'm going to do with you. We have another sequence. We have 7, 12, 19, 28, and 39. So we're going to start by determining our first difference. So if I look at my first difference, 12 minus 7 is 5. 19 minus 12 is 7. 28 minus 19 is 9. 39 minus 28 is 11. So that's not a constant first difference. So now we're going to look for our second difference. So 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2, 11 minus 9 is also 2. All right, so now we have a constant second difference, which makes this a quadratic. So we're going to quickly circle our first terms of each of our rows, and we're going to write out our formulas. We have 2a equal to the first term of the second difference, 3a plus b equal to the first term of the first difference, and a plus b plus c at the top. I like to write out the formulas here at the bottom before I start so that you don't make any silly mistakes um, by leaving out values or equating to the wrong um, to the wrong value because then that will just um, mess up your whole formula because then you'll have the wrong values to carry through to B and C. All right, so if I have 2a equal to 2, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So therefore, a is equal to 1. I then take that 1, and I'm going to put it in place of my a. So I have 3 times 1 plus b equal to 5. 3 times 1 is 3 plus b equals 5. So therefore, b is equal to 5 minus 3, which is 2. Then I'm going to take my a value, which is 1, add it to my b value, which is 2, plus c equals 7. All right, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus c is equal to 7. So therefore, when I want to isolate the c, I'm going to take the 3 across, 7 minus 3, 
which is 4. So now I have an A value of 1, a B value of 2, and a C value of 4. All right, so when I write it into my nth term or my formula, Tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. So a is 1. I can write it as 1 or I could leave the coefficient out because if there's no coefficient, the coefficient is 1. So I have 1 n squared plus b n plus 2 n plus c and c is 4. I've put two uh, sequences here for you to just quickly try by yourself. So what I recommend is that you just quickly pause this video and then I'm going to put up the answer in a minute. Um, so pause the video, try these two by yourself and see if you can get the right answer. I hope that you paused the video, that you've replayed it now. So let's check our answers. So the answers for these two are Tn equals n squared plus 1 and Tn is equal to 2n squared. I hope that you got those right and I hope that this video has helped.